Okay people, this is Halo Reach. I've been playing this game a hell of a lot since it came out last Tuesday, which was the 14th of September 2010. And I absolutely love this game. I've decided it's probably one of the best FPS games ever made, and I don't say that lightly. I really do mean it. It's just an incredibly fun, addictive game. It's got everything going for it, and the online is, is just... Flawless, really. So in this video I'm going to be showing you a tactic that I've discovered in firefight mode on the map Holdouts. And this is a matchmaking game, I'm in with two randoms, I don't know them. And that's my dude there. This is obviously recorded using theatre mode, which is just an awesome feature of Halo, ever since Halo 3. It's been a great feature. I'm really happy to hear that it's in Black Ops as well because it's just perfect for people that want to record their footage stick it on YouTube so this is the spot this is where I'm going to camp for the entire game and the point of this video really is to show you how to get as many points as is possible in a sniper fest game where you get unlimited ammo without dying once so I don't die at all in this game there's only a few instances where I feel the pressure from the enemy Usually near the end when the white elites come in, I, sh I struggle a little bit. But basically what's going on here is that I've discovered that this position is very safe. The enemy AI, for some reason, just don't seem to want to come up there, that staircase. They don't seem to want to get near you, so they tend to keep back. Sometimes they might move a couple of grunts forward or the elite an odd elite might come up give you some trouble but most of them just stay away from you which is very strange I don't know if it's a bug with the AI it, it seems to be some sort of bug I don't know it's a minor bug anyway but the point is is that when you're sniping and this works on non sniper fest firefight games it doesn't matter but what's good about this is obviously I've got unlimited ammo so I don't need to keep doing ammo runs but what's great about this is obviously you don't die because I'm camping up here got my first strike early on the, t the two people I'm playing with suck but even when you're playing with good fellow players you, you tend to max out all the points they wonder what the hell's going on they're in that room down there getting screwed getting killed every minute you, you don't get touched once so this is a great position I love this map and I love this position so as you can see I'm getting a few kills here this is all obviously early on in firefight mode so I'm not really getting much, I was getting a few hundred points here and there taking on grunts. I'm a pretty good sniper in this. You, you'll see that I get a few pretty nice headshots later on. But you don't really need to be a good sniper in this position. You've got the high grounds, you've got a good elevated position. You can just pick off the Covenant as they come down on the dropships. Also what's awesome about this level, this this stage of this level, this, this section, is when the dropships open fire on you, which they usually do, you can hide behind those metal grills just to my right there. So you, you're covered from the air, you're just covered in every respect. This game, by the way, really is awesome, I have to stress that. If you're in, in two minds about getting it, trust me. It's an incredible game, it's way, way better than Halo 3. It's just got the Halo 1 feel. It, it's just awesome. So here come the uh, second wave, whatever it is, third wave, I think it's second. You'll notice in a minute, this is obviously the first wave of Elite, you'll notice how the Elites don't even react to me, most of them. It's only later on in this game when you get the really tough elites, the white elites, I think they're the leaders, what elite leaders. It's, it's only then where the AI even reacts to me once, uh, even when they're near. So this is really easy. This is if, if you want to max out as much points as possible in matchmaking firefight, then I can't recommend this, this position enough. It's just a shame there's no sort of kill death ratio in firefight mode, that would be pretty cool. I'd love it if you could uh, get more points dying less or something along those lines and just as a sort of reference point really I'm no I'm no uh, 
360 fanboy, I'm really not. I love my PS3, I, I love PC gaming. But I've got to say, the execution of this game on Xbox Live is just flawless. It's just perfect. Matchmaking is just perfect. Smooth, fast, no issues, no lag. Dedicated servers for big team games, I think. At least it seems that way, based on the pings. Host uh, migration, it's just all there. And look at that. Obviously, Sniper Fest, I can take on the Banshees. There's no wraiths on this map, but if there was wraiths, I could take those on as well. I'm just invincible in this position. Completely invincible. They're not, the Covenant aren't, aren't going to touch me here. But yeah, this game on live, it's, it's just an incredible game. It's an incredible achievement. Uh, Black Ops. It's got me excited for Black Ops now because Triarch are going to have to up the game a little bit to, to even compete with this. I mean, obviously Black Ops is going to sell like like crazy, but I suspect that because of the calibre of this game, Black Ops are just going to have to up their anti ever so, uh, Treyarch even, they're going to have to up their anti ever so slightly with the matchmaking. They may be looking at this and saying, shit, we need to do a few things. Who knows? But they've still got a few months to get it right, and I'm just hoping they implement some of the things that Bungie have implemented with this game. Just some of the matchmaking technology because it's just so smooth, it's just so good. But anyway, my dude there. So, obviously at this stage it's not particularly exciting to watch, I'm just kind of camping, waiting for the next few reinforcement rounds to turn up, waves. I think here we, we have the third one coming in. It may even be later than the third one, I've lost track now. So yeah, the Brutes, here we go, we got the Brutes coming in. So this is where it normally gets tough, this is where people start dying a lot in firefight mode. The last two, three waves, people start to really get killed loads. It becomes a bit of a, a clusterfuck. But you're going to see here, I've got no props in this position. I'm getting headshots, taking them on, long range. But as you can see, they're getting ever so closer to me now, there's a little uh, jackal just below my scope. They're getting a little bit nearer, but they're still no threat to me. They're really no threat. I'm just picking them off one by one. Just getting some uh, achievements here. All the achievements, challenges, whatever. Double kills, triple, triple kill. kills, you name it, I'm getting it. No problem at all in this position. And as you can see, the two players on my team are just getting killed like bitches. They're just getting absolutely hammered. They're, they're lame players, they're terrible. But they've got to be asking themselves, what the hell are they doing? I mean, look at me in my position up here. Almost got him. Didn't quite kill him in time. Sorry, ma'am. So this now is the last wave. And if you, as you can see, my score is just ridiculously high compared to the other players in the server. I'm just dominating it completely locking it down frankly I think they'd have lost by now if it wasn't for the fact I was in the server almost got a hit there the first real contact of the game for me this some little bitch down there jackal easy dealt with but coming up now last couple of minutes of this video this is where it gets a bit hectic for me but I knew I wasn't gonna die I, I, I had it covered all the way through no no worries at all but this is where you get your real tough Covenant guys coming in, the elite leaders. I think there may be a general elite as well, and some of the tougher brutes with the hammers, perhaps. So they come down. First thing I realise is that this is going to be a tougher round. Obviously, I've got the hunters now. Uh, hunters are really a no problem when you're in a sniper, sniper fest game, whatever the hell it is couple of shots and he's dead. He blocks that one but I get a headshot on him. Bang, gone. No problem there. But then this is where it gets a little bit tricky. The white elites, they're the only Covenant AI that decide they need to take me on. They start opening up on me. I'm anticipating that they come up the stairs. They don't. Don't know what that one was doing. More hunters. And you know, I love this. I love this firefight mode. It's let's see, look, there you go. The first AI Covenant to come up the stairs. There, whole game. 
and here we go. I start to rush up here, but there's no problem. I'll just whip out my pistol, and deal with it. There's no way I'm going to get hurt by those grunts. More elites. They're not quite sure what to do with me. See, see what I mean about this section of the map? The AI just don't seem to know what to do. They, uh, they really should just attack me in force. Maybe three or four elites. I'd probably be killed. But uh, they just don't do it. But yeah, firefight mode. I love it. I, I play matchmaking in this game. I play it quite a bit. Team deathmatch, team slayer, or invasion. It's awesome. But for me, firefight mode is where it's at with this game. Firefight mode is just just awesome fun. I love it. Can't get enough of this mode. Because you got to play it and, and aim to not die. That's the key to firefight mode. You've got to say to yourself, I'm not going to die in this mode. You've got to survive and try and get as many kills as possible in the process. So, here we go. Almost coming to an end now. Mopping up, really. And I've not died once in that whole game. There we go, one more elite came up. He didn't even know I was up there, that elite. In that whole game, I got, what, almost 10,000 points there. And in that whole game, well, I was never even remotely in danger of dying. There was maybe one point where it looks ever so slightly hairy. But that was not really a big deal. Easy. Easy kills, easy, no deaths. Just simple stuff, really. So, that's what I say. Hold out, firefight mode. You need to play this. You need to play this method. You need to camp up here. No one seems to know about it. So check it out. Good position. Stay tuned for more vids. I'm going to try and put up some more commentary soon on various FPS games I've got. Perhaps uh, another breakdown video on some more FPS titles that I want to chronicle. So, have fun and keep playing FPS games because they're the best games in the Good world. Work, well, that's what I think anyway.